Hello, what's up? Today I'm going to make a video as a response to the Team Trees project started by Mr. Beast a few days ago. Yeah, I'm going to share with you some knowledge or information about uh, what types of trees to plant, particularly the comparison between the poplar trees and the dawn redwoods, and tell you why are the dawn redwoods more suitable or more friendly for humans to plant in the long run. First of all, what are they? The poplar or poplar trees refers to plants in the genus of Populus. In terms of taxonomy, they belong to the same family as willows, or plants in the genus of Salix. There are over 30 species of poplar trees known to science so far, and they are native to temperate regions all over the North Hemisphere. Now, Dawn Redwoods, on the other hand, refers to plants in the genus of Metasequoia. There is only one species of Metasequoia still alive today. It's called Metasequoia gleptostroboides, and is only native to a small region in the Yangtze River Basin of central China. Metasequoias belong to the same family as cypress and redwoods, and they are most closely related to the sequoias and both cypresses that are native to North America. Despite having a huge difference in terms of the taxonomy or the origins of these two plants, they are actually very similar in terms of the growth habits or the ecology. They are both slender, upright growing trees that are fully deciduous and they can grow really quickly once there is enough sunlight. They can easily gain up to 4 foot of height in a single year. They are both pollinated by the wind and they reproduce by releasing a large number of small light seeds that are spread by the wind, and they are both really tolerant of poor soils. They require a lot of water to germinate and grow as a seedling, but they can be quite drought tolerant once they are established. This is why you often see them growing on dried river beds or places close to rivers and ponds. In terms of their use or their plantation by humans, they were used for really similar ways. They were mostly planted for providing timber, they were also planted as ornamental trees usually for their bright fall colors, and they are planted in reforestation projects, usually to stop soil erosion. So why are dawn redwoods generally a better or wiser option for people to plant? Dawn redwoods generally live longer than poplar trees. Yes, without a doubt, some poplar trees did lift for several hundreds of years and grow into ginormous sizes, but those are extremely rare cases. The majority of them actually died within a hundred years after they were established, which means they are relatively short-lived for trees. On the other hand, dawn redwoods are generally fast-growing but long-lived trees. Their growth rate would gradually slow down as they age. It uses a growth strategy that is similar to the redwoods or the bold cypresses. Now for reason number two, dawn redwoods or metasequoias are generally more storm tolerant. Despite both of them being a slender, upright growing trees, the dawn redwoods actually have these narrow, pinnately compound leaves. That are kind of similar to the mesquite trees. Their slender, narrow foliage uh, makes them catch us a lot less wind than the broad, round foliage of the poplar tree. So, they are generally less likely to get knocked down by storms, and I mean cyclones or hurricanes. Reason number three, metasequoias are less likely to cause fires. Despite that both of them produces a huge amount of small light seeds that are spread by the winds, the seeds of the metasequoia are winged, which means they catch the wind by having a flat wing-like membrane. On the other hand, the seeds of the poplar trees are often covered in a thick layer of light, dry, pos posporous materials. 
This really helps them travel long distances in the air, but they are also really likely to catch on fire. Just try to search for burning poplar fluff on YouTube or Google, then you would see videos of people burning the accumulated poplar seeds easily, which means they can easily cause wildfires if they accumulate in a huge amount and the weather is dry enough. This is good news if you are in a survival situation trying to find fuel or tinder, but it is not a good news for the majority of people and the majority of time. For reason number four, metasequoias are generally less weedy. When compared to poplar trees, the reasons why you would often find those poplars, also known as cottonwood trees, growing in ruins or any fields or buildings that are recently abandoned by humans, is because they produces a huge amount of seeds, and their seeds can travel at a really long distance when there is enough wind. And they require less specific conditions to germinate when compared to the metasequoia. That means poplar trees are really likely to become invasive when they are planted outside of their native habitats. On the other hand, metasequoia seeds requires slightly more specific conditions to germinate, and they also travel for a shorter distance in the air. In the reason number five, the conservation value of the metasequoias are generally higher than that of the poplar. When it comes to tree planting, there are over thirty species of poplars that people can choose from, but there is only one species of metasequoia that is still alive today. According to fossil records, there used to be several species of metasequoias that were found in Europe, northern Asia, and North America, but most of them are already extinct. And the heyday of this genus was back in the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum Era, roughly fifty-six to fifty-eight million years before Christ. On the other hand, poplar trees are found in abundance in various parts of the world, and almost none of those species are endangered or vulnerable. Well, the species of Metasequoia glyptostroboides wasn't being discovered up until the early 20th century. Before then, the entire genus of Metasequoia was only known as a fossil record. So that discovery. Is the plant world's equivalent of capturing a wild mammoth in the 21st century? So this is all I wanted to talk about today. And once again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and you can learn from it. Now this video is a response to the recent project launched by the YouTuber Mr. Beast. The project aims to plant 20 million trees. Before the year 2020 starts, as a means to help raise the public's awareness of the climate change issue and to help cope with climate change, but an activity on a scale that big requires donation. So, if you want to donate to help him, there would be a link to the website down in the description below. There would also be links to other of our videos that are related to the topic of ecology and biology in the description below. Once again, thank you for supporting, and it's also the last day of October today, so happy Halloween!